and the news. I'm your host, Kevin. And I'm JL. Where we will be discussing the top stories that are dominating the news. From a kid's perspective. This week in politics, Donald Trump is taunting North Korea's leader, Kim Jong-un. I hope I pronounced that right. Saying that his nuclear bombs are bigger, more powerful, and actually works. Wow, um, let's hope, let's hope that button is just a metaphor. I know, right? North Korea claimed they have the capability to attack the main parts of the U.S. Kim said the nuclear button is always on the desk of my office. Trump is now referring to Kim as Little Rocket Man. <laughs> it reminds me, it reminds me of that movie. What's the movie called with the rocket thing? With the rocket backpack? The Rocketeer. Yeah, the Rocketeer reminds me of that. But but the best part was when the rocket exploded. Yeah. Like it hit a Nazi blimp and it just exploded. Oh yeah, I remember that. Was that the air though? Yeah, it was in the air. Oh, okay. I remember that. Let's though. just hope let's just hope that we're not the blimp. I know, right? <laughs> that would be bad. Alright. Next up in politics, we're gonna be discussing why black people own guns. According to the Huffington Post, there are many reasons why black people own guns. One of them is when you live in certain environments, you're preconditioned to paranoia, which means crazy folk around their, around their homes shooting stuff and they're scared they might shoot into your house. Jill, I wanna ask you something. What happens if somebody shot to your house? Would you be crazy and own a gun just in case? Would you do? Would you do it? Well, <clears throat> I would buy a gun just for safety because you never know what could happen. Um, I would buy that for safety, but if someone shot into my house, I wouldn't go and get my gun and try and shoot them back. So, I mean, maybe that's my opinion, but other people might have a different opinion. But my opinion, I would not shoot them back. I would call authorities like the police or um, the fire department, but that's my opinion. So, um, yeah. Well, what you're actually saying is one of the other reasons why people, why black people own guns. When black, when a black person owns a gun, they own it for one reason, protection. Yeah, because you never know, someone could come into your house at night time and you know they could come in your kitchen and take your knives but you have your gun hidden in your room and you know if it's in your room somewhere where you're close to where you can get it it would be safe um without having to like come out of where you are without getting hurt um but i would also go into your restroom or something and lock the door with something you can protect yourself with Okay, so now, one man who was speaking to the Huffington Post says that anyone who wasn't white and who had a gun was considered a thug. Would you think that was true? Um, no, probably not. I don't think so because, I don't know, I really, no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't. Well, thank you, Jill, for your opinion. Well, what, we all know the reason why black people own guns now. They own guns for their protection and not so they can kill each other in the streets. They own it because they need, they need protection. And what's happened in the past years, they have been reconditioned to paranoia. So they're crazy, like somebody might pull them a black Somebody might pull them over and shoot them. So that's why black people own guns. In health news, do you drink enough water? According to CNN, being dehydrated is often mistaken for hunger, making you eat more food and calories. Water-laden foods such as cucumbers, celery, apples, raw broccoli, and carrots count towards your daily amount. Here are a couple of facts. Carry a water bottle with you. Choose water when eating out. Drink water with every snack and meal. Eat more fruits and vegetables. 
According to the National Academy of Medicine, men are supposed to be men are supposed to drink 3.7 liters, 15.6 cups of water per day, and for women, 2.7 liters and 11.4 cups. So, Kevin, what is your opinion? Well, I've got most of those down. Like, I always carry a water bottle with me. But maybe when I go out, I like have a little soda. Maybe because, yeah. And, switch it up a little like, 3.7 liters is like, like two, like three bottles of Sprite. Which we all, all six of us in this house could drink in less than 24 hours. I know. <laughs> like, if, if we could drink that much water in this house right now, we, we'd be so hydrated right now. Well, my mom drinks a lot of water too, so um, she has a big water bottle and she drinks a whole water bottle in one day, which is about 40 ounces. 40 liters? Oh, four ounces. Four water bottles full of water. And um, what do you think about this water-laden food, such as cucumber, celery, apples, raw broccoli, and carrots? Would you um, eat these types of foods? I have a thing against celery. Like, it's got a really bad taste to it. No offense, kids. Like, you can still eat broccoli. Just, it, even though I'm your role model, still eat celery, okay? But I love cucumbers, carrots, broccoli. Those are the best fruits ever. And Wait, did you was was watermelon in there too? No. Uh, broccoli. It's funny because broccoli to me um, reminds me of trees because um, the little like green specks to the broccoli remind me of leaves, and then like the I guess you could call broccoli stems remind me of tree branches and then like the tree trunks i'm sorry tree trunks and then the um bottom it just reminds me of the roots that go underground so um yeah i feel like um this should be good for everyone um because cucumbers are very good for you um and yeah well i don't think mommy drinks water because he Eat ice, but water and ice is the same thing, right? Yeah, probably. Okay. <laughs> so, next up in health news, health news, nine reasons to switch to a quick electric toothbrush. Mm-hmm. According to CNN Health, it has all the features dentists recommend. It features vibrating bristles, softer brushing, and 30-second pulses to ensure you are covering your mouth evenly. Well, they recommend all this. Mm-hmm. I thought they just recommend to brush your teeth every day. I know, right? Okay, number two. Frayed bristles aren't just gross. They are infective at cleaning teeth. They deliver fresh heads every three months. Mm-hmm. Wow. Because sometimes people like to replace their toothbrushes after nine months, but instead they will ship you fresh heads every three months so you can clean your toothbrush so that no germs get on it. Um, yep. So no germs get on it, you don't get sick. And you don't have to throw it away. And this, mm-hmm. and one of the reasons that really hit me is the quick toothbrush can last up to two years. Holy mm-hmm. crap. I know. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's 24 months without having to replace a toothbrush, which is a very long time, and I'm impressed because, um, I'm impressed because, first of all, you replace every three months, and you get softer bristles, and, softer bristles, and, the other thing, I'm sorry, I forgot what it was. All right, but, so, um, yeah. um, so, like, if, if I were me, and I, and I had money to buy this toothbrush, about five. So it can last me through high school. I know. <laughs> college. And until I can get somebody to brush my teeth for me. <laughs> okay. Next subject. It's pretty cold here in Texas. Pretty cool. Mm-hmm. So how about we get a weather update from Jonna? 
Jonna, is there what's going on in Austin right now? Thanks, guys. It has been pretty cold out here in Texas. For the second time in December, it snowed. Here's some tips to stay warm out there. You're going to need a warm hat, a scarf, a jacket, and some boots. Stay warm out there. Thank you, Jonna, for that lovely weather report. We'll make sure we'll bundle up. In this week of entertainment, kid-friendly movies coming to Netflix. Pirates of the Caribbean, Cars 3, and Trolls. Which one was your favorite, Kevin? Oof. I love Pirates of the Caribbean, and I love Cars 3. I'm glad to go with Cars 3. That was a good movie. I'm going to choose all of them because it's really hard. I love pirate movies. I like animated funny movies. And I also like car movies because my brother likes car movies. So, mm-hmm. Oh, y'all didn't know what I heard about him this week? That I heard on March 20th, a series of unfortunate events is coming to Netflix. Oh, yeah, that's right. If you guys haven't seen season one, you guys should probably go watch it. It's very good. I don't want to spoil anything. So, just wait. All right. Now, also, we got Bright, also on Netflix. Bright is only one week and five days in the making, making, and it, and it already has been nominated for an award. Which award? It was known for the best team, like, for the animations and stuff. Okay. And Bright is so popular. They're making a sequel right now as we speak. Hmm. Wow. That's a movie that we're going to see. Who's in there? Who's in the movie? Will Smith and Joel Edgerston. That looks um, pretty interesting. Where's it being aired on? It's being aired on Netflix. The estimated box office was nine million. Yikes. That's a lot. <clears throat> That's a lot for even for me. I know. <laughs> Bright was filmed in Los Angeles, California. Hmm. And also, for if you didn't if you didn't watch the movie, I'm pretty sure you didn't. It's about a cop drama where where elves and orcs kinda live together in harmony. Elven Rings. That's funny. Sounds like a Lord of the Rings movie. I know. That's funny. I know. That's pretty funny. This next story will have some people scratching their heads. According to the Washington Post, the year doesn't officially start until April. We knew that already, didn't we, Jim? Yes, we did. Well, the, the other people were following the Julian calendar, which was changed by Pope Gregory... The 13th, I believe. Yes. January was named after Roman god Janus, the two-faced god of endings and beginnings. The month of the king, the king Cetillus, was renamed July in honor of Julius Caesar. The calendar was 11 days off was because the Julian calendar, they found Julian calendar, which was 11 days off. Which threw everything off course. I always knew that calendar was off. Like, who would celebrate when everything wasn't alive? What, what, you could wait till the spring when everything's alive. I agree. Yeah. I agree. People are suing Apple. Apple is now slowing down older phones to upgrade to the iPhone 10 for its 10 year anniversary. Um, they did the same thing to my mom's phone. Um, they slowed it down, and it was dead. I'm surprised my dad's phone is still alive, too. Um, people are angry because they do not want to be duped into buying a new phone because it's more money as they upgrade. And I agree with them because who wants to pay for an $800 phone um, just because they're slowing down the phone that you have? So... Do you have an opinion on that? Well, if I was an Apple user, I'd have been angry, but I'm not an Apple user. Yes. We have tablets, and they're, they're Android. They're, they're Android. Android. So, um, yeah. And um, they also stopped um, phones from charging. So when they're dead, you can't charge them again. And so when they're not charging, you think, oh, it's probably just the charger. It's not working anymore. It's actually them slowing down the phones to where you can't charge them anymore. And they die, and you are forced to buy a new one. 
So, um, that's the reason why people are suing Apple. Do you have well, anything you want to say? No, I don't know. Okay. Well, that's it for this week's this week of news. Tune in next week because we have more top news stories. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Bye. Bye.